Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lana and today we are talking all things Corel dishware. Are they worth it? Are they breakable? And more. If you are wondering if Corel might be a good choice for you and what it's really like, this video is for you. On this channel, I make content simplifying money and home. If that sounds good to you, come be a part of it by tapping that little subscribe button and ringing the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know whenever I upload a new video. And with that, let's get right into it. First off, this video is not sponsored in any way. I am not being compensated for my opinion, uh, either positive or negative. First up, is Corel dishware pretty? Are they actually attractive and you would want to eat off of them and share them with your guests? So first off, they have several different designs which are pretty pleasing. Here we have a set with some uh, dots. They've got lots of different options. So. If you wanted to, you could get Corel in a very pleasing pattern. I really like this one. I didn't know they even did that. I'm just figuring this out today. They also have these cool trees and this is like the square version, I guess. So there are different options to have not just plain white Corel plates. And I didn't show you all the options. You could totally explore and look and see if there's one that you really like, but you do not just have to go for plain white. But me being ever practical, I am into all plain white. This might stem from my childhood and I have memories of going to Pier 1 with my mom and we would go and get plain white porcelain plates. And I thought it was so Boring. but it always matches with everything. You don't have to coordinate it with your tablecloth if you're having a party and you can pretty much guarantee that there will always be white plates. So as your dishes break, <laughs> you can just replace them with other white plates because some of these limited edition sets with the cool patterns and stuff, I bet you they're not gonna be around forever, which means it's going to get increasingly harder to find that set. So this is my dinner plate, boring old white. I'm pretty sure I will be able to buy this kind of dinner plate forever and I can dress it up and look fancy if I want to or not. I can have crazy napkins, but I can just have all my plates be the same and pretty much guarantee that they'll all match. So yes, you could get pretty Corel plates, but I won't be doing that. Next up, I'm talking about what we're eating off of. So part of our plate collection still has some of our wedding china. So part of our decor at our wedding were these centerpieces that involved china plates. So my mom got a bunch of cool china plates and turned them into these centerpieces and it was so cool. So then we ended up with a bunch of plates and of course I loved the china because I wanted that for my wedding. So we still eat off of some, some of those even today. So we got married over eight years ago and we're still eating off of them. And yes, we put them in the dishwasher. So here's one of them. Um, it's a little worse for the wear because we've been putting it in the dishwasher and you know the gold's coming off. And we still have some, but you know, they keep breaking and you can't put them in the microwave because they have the, uh, the metal on the edge there. I don't think you're gonna be able to see this one very well. This is one of my absolute favorites. You can see it's kind of dinged up by the uh, dishwasher, but it has this subtle white pattern and I love that. And these are Lennox Real China plates and we eat off of them because I'm not waiting for a special occasion to eat off our nice plates. But you can't put this one in the microwave either, kind of a bummer. Now we're looking at what we got for our Corel. So this is our dinner plate that we have for Corel. It's just so useful because you can put it in the microwave, <laughs> you can put it in the dishwasher. It doesn't really look worse for the wear. I mean, there's a few scuffs on it, but pretty much not at all. And this is the big size that's the same as those china plates. This is the salad plate size that I absolutely love. There's how big my hand is, there's how big the plate is. And I just ordered some more of these salad plates, so I'm super excited for those. Um, these are just a great breakfast plate uh, or kid plate. 
all of the above. And they're just so much cuter than the big ones. Corel does make big soup bowls, but we don't have any yet. So I got my first Corel at a garage sale and it didn't have any big soup bowls, but Corel does make that. So I just have two types of bowls. I have a bigger bowl and this is normally what we end up putting soup in. And then we have this smaller bowl, which kind of has more vertical sides. And this is really a nice snack bowl if you want to make sure you don't eat too much of a snack. If you put it in the big bowl before you know it, you'll have had twice as much. I know they do have the square size and the other different types of bowls, but those are kind of the basics that I have. I don't have anything fancy and they would all fit with that round size. So if you start getting into the square size, then it's gonna be harder to stack them all together and then it's gonna start being a mess. Next up, where do you get these? So I am always on the hunt for these at Goodwill. Every single time I go to Goodwill, I am looking for white Corel or any Corel, basically. It is never there. It's like someone has already been there and they already thought of that and they already looked through all the dishware and they're like, oh, got it. Because you could get them for a great discount at Goodwill, but uh, I never seem to find them that way. I'm really actually surprised that I found what I do have at a garage sale because they get snapped up so fast. So if you're at a garage sale or an estate sale, look for the Corel. So at our grocery store, you can buy a set of Corel, and so I keep thinking about it, but it includes pieces that I wouldn't use, like mugs. We have lots of mugs, and I don't really care about the mugs, and you know, mugs are easy to collect and replace. And so I don't wanna buy something that we're not gonna use. And so the basic Corel set that has the four plates and the four salad plates and the four bowls, and then it has four mugs. And I'm like, well, I don't want the mugs. So I haven't actually gotten that kind of set, even though that would be pretty cost effective for this plain white color, because I don't want to have things that we're not gonna use. The other way you can buy it is at our grocery store and you can buy one plate at a time and they're five bucks a pop. And I'm like, ah, oh, that is so painful for me to pay that much for one single plate, even though that could be a way to slowly collect it. It's like, I'm not getting a coffee today. I'm gonna get one plate. So this winter frost white color that I like ends up being cheaper in the long run because it's not like the specialty so you're not paying for the design too. So here you could get eight dinner plates for $50. This is still quite an investment and I wish it wasn't so expensive but, but if you get this cool design you're getting this all for $90. It's a 12 piece set which means that the $50 for the eight is still cheaper. This is what I just bought. Oh, it says last purchased on February 2nd. Yep, I bought this because I could handle the $20. So I'm gonna get uh, six plates for $20. So it is more cost effective to do this as opposed to buying them one at a time at the grocery store. Because if I spent $20 at the grocery store buying these plates, I would only get four, but I'm getting six for $20 instead of the four. So it is a little bit cheaper to buy a set on Amazon. If you know a cheaper way to source these, please let me know. If you wanna get started with a whole set, here's one that's all white, it's $90, and it's a service for six. So you're getting six of three different things, it looks like. So you're getting the big plates, the little plates, and one size of a bowl, and I think that's a pretty good deal. It's basically $5 a piece, but that's still not super cheap in my world because I'd love to s pay Goodwill prices, but uh, that doesn't seem to be working out. If $5 is the going rate for one piece of Corel, you can look out when you're shopping and see if it's actually a good deal. You're like, oh, this is $3 a piece. This is a good deal. Or, oh, this is $10 a piece. This is not a good deal. So if you have that general guideline, you can kind of uh, go from there. And lastly, your burning question, are they unbreakable? So right on the back here it says, break and chip resistant. And I would say that that is true. They are totally chip and break resistant, but if you try hard enough, you can totally break them, or if you have a four-year-old. 
So my four-year-old is learning how to unload the dishwasher and put away the dishes. And this means that I have to let him carry everything himself. And sometimes things end up on the floor. And we have that uh, cheap pergo stuff in our kitchen. And you would think that nothing would break off that because it's not particularly hard. It's not tile but he has totally broken dishes on that. And I haven't actually seen all of the exact events that caused the dish to break. Like, did he clang two together? Did he just drop it on the floor? Like, was it two feet? Was it four feet? He's only like this high, so he couldn't really drop it from like six feet, but they totally can break and I have swept up more than one in the last little bit. The other thing that they totally don't resist is falling off the table onto metal stripping. We have our pergo and then we have our carpet and there's a metal strip holding the carpet in. If you drop your corral on the metal, it will totally shatter. And it's not like safety glass, like your car window where it, it like breaks into circles. There's totally shards everywhere and uh, it can be dangerous. And it doesn't really cause me pause um, to have my four-year-old handling the dishes, even though it doesn't really cause me pause in general about any kind of dish, but they are totally breakable. Uh, it's unlikely, but it totally can happen, which means then you have to replace it, but oh well. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about the video, if you've ever had Corel, if you're thinking about having Corel, what your favorite Corel design is. I'm excited to hear that. Please hit that like button so that YouTube knows this was a good video. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>